What up, YouTube? It's Danny. Back with another video. In fact, I haven't really made a video in a few weeks. <laughs> uh, sorry for the weird angle. Uh, you guys are currently propped up against a lamp. And you can kind of see the shine of the lamp. In the... It's fine. It's just like, it looks like the sun is like right there. It's hard to do backwards. Anyway. Um, today's a different sort of video. Shout out to Jazzy, first of all. Jazzy has been wanting a Nintendo Switch for a while. Uh, she's been telling me and Michael um, how much she wants one. And um, so it got me thinking. <laughs> I have three Nintendo Switches, right? And I don't need three. Um, so, no, I did not give her one. Um, it sounds like I was about to say, oh yeah, I gave Jazzy a Nintendo. No. She went out and got the um, Splatoon 3 edition Nintendo Switch, which motivated me. And I also have pictures, I believe, somewhere on the screen of her. She sent me pictures of the, of the Switch. Beautiful Switch. I didn't realize the dock was gray. I thought it was white. But it motivated me to want to get a new Nintendo Switch OLED. It is most of you, most of you who watch who used to watch my streams back when I streamed. The last game I streamed was Pokemon Violet, and how much I actually hated the game. Uh, it's been patched a few times since then, and I've actually been playing it off stream for the past week. Me and Michael Pacheco, actually, and so I'm happy to say I don't hate the game anymore. Um, but even when I hated the game. Nintendo came out with a Pokemon Scarlet Violet OLED Switch Special Edition. And I missed my opportunity to buy it in stores. And I had several opportunities. I actually saw it several times at Target in November and December. I didn't really want it at the time because I, I hated the game so much back then. But I, I'm happy to say while the game is still somewhat buggy... Um, it's a lot better. It's very playable now. And the story is like one of the best stories ever in a Pokemon game. In my opinion. And a lot of people's opinions actually. So with that being said. It just got here from Amazon. Like two minutes ago. Uh, which is good. Because I, I have to go to work soon. But I have time to open this real quick on the camera. So. I can't believe I've got one. It's so cool. All right, uh, we got the violet Joy-Con. See, if the camera will focus. There we go. Very nice. We got the Scarlet Joy-Con. Cool. We got the Switch. Look at the back. So let me see if I can hold that better. Uh, but it's got like. It's so cool. Look at that. It's so cool. Alright. Got the power cable. Uh, we've got the HDMI cable. The um, wrist straps. We've got the Joy-Con controller grip. Which I think is just regular. I don't think it's like... Pokemon themed or anything? No, it's just regular. So, we've got the dock. So, which is themed. So, yeah, look at that. Look at that. That is beautiful. And on the back, you got a little Pokeball. It looks like right there as well. Which is cool. Um, yeah. Sweet. So, I'm going to boot it up real quick. Just to make sure it's functional um, my first time buying a switch off of Amazon I, this is actually my second console I've got off of Amazon with the first console being uh, my Xbox one s yeah yeah that's the one with no drive yeah Xbox one s I am so excited for this so and you can't beat one day shipping it would have been same day shipping had I ordered it 
earlier in the day yesterday. That's okay. I don't mind waiting a day. Snap. And snap like that. Beautiful. And I do have a 512 uh, gigabyte card as well that's in the box over there that I also ordered. Power's on, no problem. So cool. That's so cool. So. Nice. Okay, well, go ahead and enjoy the rest of the video. Uh, I'm going to be saying goodbye to the launch switch that I waited out in the cold for. That was the very first console I ever got on launch. Um, also, the first time I ever waited six hours for a console. I don't think I've ever waited for a console like in line before. So that was a cool experience. Didn't vlog it. Um, wasn't really vlogging in 2017. Um, I, I kind of was, but not like I do these days or did these days. Actually, I haven't vlogged hardly at all this year. But there is a vlog on the way. Stay tuned. I've just been I've been busy with other stuff. Um, mostly work. But I am getting rid of the launch day switch. Now I'm keeping the Zelda Joy Cons. They don't make them anymore. So. These are staying with me. <clears throat> Boys are getting raspy. These are staying with me. I could sell the Switch a tad bit separate, like a lot of people do, but I won't. Um, fun fact, launch day Switches go for a little bit more than second gen Switches. Or is, are they even called second gen? The one that came out with a better screen, I guess. And that's because these are easily modifiable easily hacked or whatever for like homebrew and stuff like that so i will be selling this look how big those bezels are i'm so used to the oled switch seeing those bezels are ridiculous um but i will be selling my launch day switch which is something i originally wasn't going to do just because how special it is to me that i waited out in the cold for a console on launch day two things i never done before so, I've been a gamer for 30 years, and that was the first time I'd ever bought a console, brand new console on launch day, and waited out in the cold, or just out in general, for six hours, six, seven hours, for a launch console. Pretty cool. What was that Best Buy? Um, so yeah, this will be going for sale. I will be selling this, obviously, with the dock, and the cables, and this little controller thingy it came with. So... Rest in peace, not rest in peace, you're not dead, but it's been a real gray Nintendo Switch. They don't make this color anymore, so yeah. Those are a little bit more than normal, um, I will be honest. Second thing I will be selling, my Switch Lite. As much as I like the Switch Lite, and I need to make sure I get all my game cartridges out of these cases, when I, because I'm selling the cases with the console. As much as I like the Switch Lite, it's beautiful pink. I, I love it. I do. But it just sits here. It doesn't get played. It deserves to get played. You know, I think a kid deserves to play this. Or an adult, possibly. Um, but what I need to remember also is to take all the micro SD cards out because I'm not selling the SD cards with them. Yeah, I got one in there. Samsung. <clears throat> so, just need to make sure I get my SD cards out of these things and obviously format but yeah I mean this thing looks brand new it does I mean it's got fingerprints on it but other than that it's never been dropped it's such a well designed console this console got me through when I had COVID and it got me through uh, when I had my wisdom teeth pulled two years ago that was that lasted a week to get over that my mouth kept bleeding I was in a lot of pain this helped played a lot of Wheel of Fortune on this during that time in a little Pokemon but mostly Wheel of Fortune um, that's just what I was into because I wasn't feeling well after surgery uh, and then last but not least I will be selling my OLED switch now it looks a little funny right now because it's got the Hori Pro controllers on it which I 
it looks like a Steam Deck. It's big and massive. You talking about comfortable though? These controls are the most comfortable. So yeah, these are not coming with the Switch. I just bought these on Sunday, so definitely keeping these. Um, and I actually am keeping the white Joy-Con. The white Joy-Con are not sold separately. There's no way to get these other than buying them used on eBay or if you buy a Switch OLED with white Joy-Con. So, um, this, and again, look at, look at, look at the difference in bezels, okay? Like, and I'm sure I pointed this out in the unboxing video I did a couple years ago or a year ago. Look at that. I know it's just a few inches, but man, it matters, you know? So, anyway, uh, so I'm keeping the white Joy-Con, but I'm going to be selling the red ones. Now, the red ones, they don't make any more either. But the red ones were a gift from my ex, and I don't have any attachment to her, nor do I these. Yeah, they're red, they're cool, they're neon red, really, but I'd rather have the white ones. Um, I don't want anything of hers or anything that she gifted me. I've gotten rid of everything else you gifted me, which wasn't very much. This would be the last thing. But yeah, I'll be selling... It looks nice. It looks very nice, actually. I'll be selling the OLED Switch with a red Joy-Con. Neon red. So, yeah. Cool. And again, I could just sell the tablet and just keep all the Joy-Con. But I'm not going to. So, in conclusion, I will have the new Scarlet and Violet Switch tomorrow morning from Amazon. I'm keeping the white Joy-Con, and I'm keeping the Zelda Joy-Con, which they don't make anymore either. These are new. I got these maybe a year ago, and I've never really actually used them. Um, so, uh, yeah. If you're interested in buying any of my Switch consoles, I will link my eBay store below. Uh, this comes with this, and as well as the dock, the white dock. I am selling the white dock, obviously. Um, but... Uh, and it comes with all the cables as well. And then, obviously, launch day switch comes with launch day dock, all the cables, and also that control attachment. So, yep. Anyway, shout out to Jazzy, shout out to Michael, both of you guys. Shout out to my crew. Um, as you guys know, I don't really stream anymore. I'm, I'm making a video separate on why I don't stream anymore. So, uh, the streams are not coming back anytime soon. <clears throat> anyway, I'll make a video on that soon. But my new crew consists of Michael, Jazzy, Vanessa, Eric, and Kendra. So, you got some of the old PS4 crew back with some of the new. I guess the new would just be Jazzy because I already, everybody else already. Well, Vanessa, I didn't really play with back then, but I play with her now. I play with her. I play with Jazzy, Vanessa, and Michael more than anybody. Um, and then Eric and Kendra when they're not busy being parents. <laughs> so, anyway. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I do appreciate more to come. Stay tuned. I know I've been very scarce on uh, videos. It's just stuff. Uh, you know, life gets in the way of YouTube sometimes. And streaming is uh, not even on my mind and won't be again. Uh, stay tuned for that video. Um, I've got my reasonings. And they're valid reasons uh, for not streaming anymore. Um so, yeah, if you were thinking I was going to come back to Twitch or come back to streaming, sorry, and I'll explain why in the next video or whenever I film that. So, anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Do appreciate it. More to come. Stay tuned, and I'll see you all in the next stream. In the next stream. I said the word stream, now it's stuck in my head. See you all in the next video. No stream. Not going to be streaming. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Sit back and enjoy the ride